third thing up there is knowledge. Um, we expect our players, they got to know their job. They got to become a great listener and they've already started that process. They're learning how to become great listeners from boot camp, from that strength and conditioning, from being out in the elements at 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning when it's nasty. So they got to be able to comprehend, they got to listen. They got to be bold enough to ask questions. They got to become students of the game. I got a quarterback that'll text me in the middle of the night and play number 137. If we would have had an isolation read on boundary six instead of a progression read, boundary to field, it would have been a much better play. I said, we'll talk about it in the morning. But you got to get, get kids, your players, that excited about being good and be a student of the game. Get your kids involved in the actual game plan, how it's going to be carried out. It's a big deal. Coaches, knowledge. We co-coordinate. We co-coordinate offense, defense, special teams, recruiting. I remember when I first started this, man, I got shredded by the media. You can't make a decision, so you're just gonna let everybody share. I thought, yep, yeah, okay, write what you want. You've got the pen, you're gonna be able to control the situation. But the real reason was why? Because I felt that it maximize coaching strength. So we've got a run guy on offense and a pass guy. They both work together on protecting the quarterback. We've got a run stopper guy on defense and a guy that defends the pass. And it goes on and on with recruiting and so forth. Um, I felt that it reduces preparation time significantly. Yeah, theoretically 50%. And I think efficiency, theoretically 100%, maybe not, but I think a whole lot it did. When you get two guys working together and you share the workload, you become more efficient. Maybe not always what they would like to have, but at the time I felt like it was a thing for us to do and it's worked out pretty good. Tell our coaches, we're getting ready for spring ball. I can't believe it. it seems like we just got done playing in Daytona Beach. Here we are, we're getting ready for spring football pretty soon. Tell our guys to work on schematics that maximize our players' talents without reinventing the wheel. Don't do, don't uh, work the schematics of what we had or what we hope to have, but what we got right now, and it changes a little bit. And do that without creating a whole lot of new learning and reinventing the wheel. And they do a great job of that. But most importantly for coaches, knowledge. Know your kids you coach. Know them. Find out what pushes their buttons. Know what makes their body language sore. Know what makes their head drop. Know them well. That's your number one priority in knowledge.